السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته second year students now we have this lecture in the old man and the sea by Ernest Hemingway we start in this page and the last thing we remember that the old man hooked the fish now the fish ate the bite and it is hooked and we consider this as a raising action why because the events are going to be complicated uh, now there is a direct confrontation, direct struggle between Santiago and the Marlin. This is day number three in the sea. We don't forget that he make a trip in the sea and alone to fish Marlin and now, now he is alone and the fish is hooked. But what happened is that the fish is very huge. It is very big and he can't uh, hold the line. So what he, his plan is that, that he is going to depend on his tricks, that he, is, uh, he c couldn't jump after it because uh, it's going to destroy him. He can't uh, hold the line, it is very huge. He went, what, he went that the fish itself is going to jump and he is going to uh, u use his harbor around him. So he is going to kill the fish by his harbor. This is his own plan. Now he went the boy to be with him. Uh, actually, he went his own youth returned to him. His own uh, strength of the past days to be with him in order to overcome this uh, huge fish. Now this is the battle between them. And uh, he actually, in this paragraph, he tried and they tried not to think, but only to endure. To resist, to sustain, to withstand this uh, enemy or this fish because it is very huge. Sometimes uh, it himself uh, would draw and hold the line towards uh, the sea. So this is the uh, what happens. So that's why he uh, uh, tried to make uh, what uh, the matter go in this way. He went the fish to uh, be to uh, feel tired and uh, jump from the sea and kill it by his harpoon in this way so what have look to his uh, uh, suffering within the middle of the sea that he is alone and he is hungry thirsty and uh, so he what uh, yani he is surrounded by a difficult situation what he said i can't do nothing with him and he can't do nothing with me he felt not as long as he keeps this up so they are now equal this fish is going to depend on its physical strength and this man is going to depend on his mental strength his maturity and his knowledge so in this way this battle is going to move in this way then he said aloud i wish i had the boy to help me and to see this uh, he wished the boy to help him uh, as يعني, as we said, uh, represent to his uh, vast uh, youth, uh, also to see this achievement, this by itself as achievement, uh, that he get Marlin. Yes, he, uh, he couldn't get it between his hands, but at least he hooked it up to now. Uh, this is uh, what he have in this. Uh, then in this paragraph, look, he began to pity the great fish. What do we have in this paragraph? The whole paragraph, he glorified the fish. He admired the fish. Yani he never had the fish. Now he uh, respects it, appreciates it, and sometimes he feels sorry towards the fish because this is his faith. Uh, the fish of the faith is to be uh, uh, hawked by the fisherman, and this is uh, the destiny of this man is to be fisherman to hug this fish and he respect it he uh, i want you to focus on the concept of faith now and uh, you remember this concept in the greek drama with the uh, audibles last year and what happened here also he feel uh, also he uh, admired this fish because he talked about all the things that uh, are positive in, the, in this uh, fish that it is strong it is sometimes beautiful now what he went to say in this paragraph that when you <coughs> يعني, study your enemy appreciate your enemy never belittle your enemy in order to overcome him يعني, focus on his uh, 
positive points and be aware from them focus or study the, his weakest points and size them or try to exploit them so here in this way he never belittle his enemy he never uh, try to uh, mock his enemy as opposite always he admired the fish and uh, sometimes we said that uh, he never exhibited it as an enemy rather as a brother as a equal partner uh, as sometimes as a friend so all this here he talk about what he talk about his glorious things he glorify the what he glorify the uh, fish and uh, explain that uh, it is his own faith that make you a fish in order to be hooked by a fisherman uh, it is my faith that make me what make me as a fisherman to hook you uh, and at the end he was said was it uh, just as this bird as I sin so now it is a mention for the sin so this is his own sin his own fault to make this uh, with the fish uh, also he remember the time he had hooked one of bear marlin now it is a movement between present time and the past time now he remember what he remember his past of course his past connected with achievements with uh, glory with uh, with uh, fishing a good two pair one pair one of pair of marlin yani he get two marlin two big fish at the same time not and now he couldn't get on one fish what uh, also always the comparison between the present and the past is an equal comparison it is contrast uh, that's why he tried to escape from his uh, suffering from his harsh reality to the past again with remembering it is uh, what it is one strategy of the flashback technique we talked them about uh, in the last lecture i hope you read them well yes uh, what do we have here i wish the boy was here it is a motive it is a repeated sentences that he repeats this sentence more than one time that he insists that he in need in bad need for the boy for his best uh, physical strength uh, once he went the boy actually as a person to show for him his achievements as how he how he hugged the fish but uh, mostly he went the boy as what as his best a youth to be with him in order to could overcome this fish this is what uh, uh, this is the benefit of the boy motive also if we focus on this uh, yes I wish the boy was here he said a lot and settled uh, himself against the rounded blanks of the bow uh, he felt the strength of the great fish throughout the line he held across his shoulder moving steadily toward whatever he had chosen when once through my treasury it had been necessary to him to make a choice the old man felt so here what do we have here we have the concept of choice and before this time we have the concept of fate and uh, you remember those concepts this is now this is his make his choice that uh, we talk about his struggle his struggle with what do you think his struggle with the marlin is his choice or his fate before this time he said what it is my fate that make me a fisherman now he said what is my choice that uh, make me to enter to this struggle with the fish what happened here actually uh, most critics said that this is own choice it is not fate and his own pride that pushed him to enter to the struggle you remember last lecture we said that he is what a tragic hero his speech is a heroic speech the thing that I born for yani fishing is the thing that he born for as if he is a tragic hero now again we find that concept of faith concept of free will again we have a critic said what he it is his own bride you remember that tragic hero suffering from a bride it is a bride that destroyed the tragic hero and this man is uh, entered to this battle because of his bride that he went to improve for the boy and other fishermen that he is a successful one uh, that's why he entered he went to uh, fish only marlin huge marlin not any fish 
so it is his own blood. What he said, perhaps I should not have been a fisherman, he thought, but that was the thing that I was born for. Again, it is hell. Most surely, remember to eat the tuna after gets light. Uh, again, in this page, there is a reference to the boy, and uh, there is a boy motif. Also, what happened? That uh, he is going to cut all the lines of other hooks and make the only the line of what of this uh, fish only. Uh, while he is cutting these lines, the fish make a quick movement or a quick jump. And what? And because he is old man and he use uh, and he hold the line in one hand and he use his knife in the another hand. He what? He endure his face. He uh, near uh, his uh, below his eye, so this action it could be uh, an analyzed dif from different corner. First, uh, يعني the direct uh, meet between them. We said that the fish is very huge, and physically speaking, the fish is going to overcome him because now the fish that it is the reason that who uh, cut below his eye. This is one thing. Also, enduring this, there is uh, blood everywhere now from his uh, face. Also, sometimes there is the blood from his hand because of the uh, row, because of the line, holding the line of the hook. This is also said, this is a religious illusion. This reminds us by whom? By Jesus Christ. Because he himself, is. Uh, there is blood and uh, he, uh, there is bleeding when uh, in the process of uh, in the process of uh, where in the process here in the process of uh, uh, crust injuries this reminds us by the crust uh, crucifixion and uh, how much uh, uh, Christ is humble and love his, his people and uh, always do the uh, right and uh, when to protect the poor people uh, uh, what he get in return is what that the people killed him and sometimes they injures him this remind us why this that's why we said that uh, Santiago has a, a Christian uh, belief and uh, is a, a Christ figure sometimes we describe him as, as a Christ figure because he also humble He's, he is a successful fisherman but is still poor because always help the poor people and what, what at the end he received mockery and just ridicules him that's why he entered to this struggle in order to improve for others that he is still as before uh, this is what uh, this is the benefit of the religious illusion this reminds us by the uh, injuries of Christ himself uh, look this speech now he talked directly to the fish fish he said softly aloud I'll stay with you until I'm dead so this is heroic speech that he uh, there, يعني, uh, he is going to complete his struggle to the end never give up never stop never uh, feel that he is weak so this is the idea that never give up that uh, complete what you start uh, never feel that you are weak even if you are surrounded by so many difficulties so this is the idea now we have this old man within the sea alone he there is uh, now it is noon okay uh, the heat of the sun uh, he is thirsty he is hungry and he is in need for the boy to be motivation for him to be uh, a help for him okay and uh, he is hooked a huge fish which is stronger than him but he never would stop. He never stopped. He never giving up. He is still with this uh, struggle until he did. So also, يعني, uh, enduring the the uh, make blood or uh, seeing the blood in this scene before the scene. I mean, when the fish make a uh, quick jump. Uh, this remind us by what maybe it is maybe foreshadowing element we call it and you understand know what do you mean by foreshadowing element maybe it is a hint tell me that maybe there is a uh, death uh, this story ends by the death of the Santiago 
maybe it ends by the last of his fish it is maybe we said we don't show sure because we don't uh, finish uh, this story up to now now in these lines that we found that he is going to uh, find his and yeah, depend on his tricks and his uh, knowledge of the sea what he said when the sun had risen further the old man released the, that the fish was not tiring there was only one favorable sign the slant of the line showed he was swimming at lesser depth that did not necessarily mean that he would jump but he might god let him jump the old man said i have enough line to handle him so what do we have this is his own uh, strategy his own way that he went the fish to be jumped and uh, kill it by his harbor now uh, it is uh, and he make it tired uh, so that he uh, doesn't want to hold the line only he wanted uh, swim in the sea and then may, uh, feel tired but uh, this does not happen but uh, what is uh, uh, good for him it is swimming at a lesser depth not deeply what he said gap let him jump so now he returned to God he asked God to help him in this difficult situation and make this uh, fish jump as far as he can cool uh, it at the end yes look at this uh, sentence finished he said I love you and respect you very much but I will kill you dead before this day ends so what happened now this is the third day and he he know he is going to kill this the, uh, this uh, fish at the end of this day uh, as we said that he did, doesn't hate the fish he uh, entered to this uh, sea struggle just to improve that he is a successful fisherman not because he hate the fish nor he want to gain money just to improve for the boy and others that he is still have the ability and uh, 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 his old past days uh, there is a conversation between the old man and a bird and uh, a bird as a sign that it, sometimes it is let me say it is a rest for him to take a rest also the conversation between the whole conversation between the uh, old man and this bird indicate what the unity between old man and uh, the other elements and the natural elements this man is part of the nature and understand ev everything in the sea uh, above the sea and under the sea and uh, the bird is one element of the nature and he feel unity with this animal and understand this animal and look to what he said and the, the whole conversation between between this animal and, i mean the bird and uh, and old man and we talk about this in the file throughout the base uh, below this lines that uh, there is uh, he talk with himself about what uh, about the eight about the food you remember in the in the beginning of this uh, story that we have the boy who help him who serving him who uh, take care of him uh, relating to his food and his drink uh, and uh, always uh, insist and they prepare everything for the uh, Santiago to take his food and uh, now now he himself Santiago himself went to eat without the helping of the boy without insisting without advising of the boy because there is a reason there is a reason to eat now he has an aim he uh, which is to get the marlin now he hugs the marlin and he is near to get the marlin so he has an aim and he went to achieve it that's why we said that uh, he is uh, yani always especially all people in need for a company in need for an aims because yani olding age not means the end of everything not means stopping everything or killed everything around them now this man has a hope and has an aim and he went to achieve this aim this is uh, relating to the aid and before this uh, there is a conversation with a bird it is some sort of the hope for him what do we have here be patient hand he said I do this for you I wish I could feed the fish now he is going to, to feed the fish uh, itself he thought he is my brother but I must kill him and keeps it wrong to do it slowly and continuously he ate 
all of the wood shade strips of fish. What do we have here? We have religious references. Okay, before this, uh, this we said that he never he loved the fish, he appreciated the fish, he never hated the fish. But it is his own bride that pushed him to enter to this struggle. Just he went to improve for others that he is a successful fisherman. Now he described the fish as his own brother, but he must kill him. This is a religious reference actually. This is a religious illusion. Why? Because you you read in the in Holy Quran and we hear from the stories of other religions that uh, Adam's sons one killed the other. Adam uh, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel one killed Cain killed Abel. Both of them are uh, Adam's sons and one killed the other. Cain killed the Abel. Uh, uh, this is the story of uh, his sons. So it is what? What is the reason that pushed one of the brothers to kill the other? It is his envy. That envy his, uh, his own brother. Why he present, uh, present atonement or something like uh, uh, let me atonement, yes, uh, and uh, God accepts from one of them and does not accept it from other, that's why he invaded his own brother and killed him. This is the reason why he killed his brother. Now, what is the reason that pushed the brother to kill his brother? It is, uh, we said that this is his own bride uh, that pushed Santiago to kill his brother. So, this is a religious illusion, religious references, and by the way, it is very important if these students focus on it please yes god helped me to have a crown go he said because i don't know what the fish is going to do but he seems calm felt following his plan but he is his plan what is his plan he felt what is mine mine i must improve to his because of his great sight if he will jump i can kill him but he stays down forever then i will stay down with him forever so again, this is relating to his uh, plan, relating to his what, uh, uh, relating to his own tricks. Uh, also, the fish itself, uh, what it seems that is not an easy, because it seems that it hooked before. And we talk about the philosophy of the fault, uh, make committing the fault, make uh, being uh, hooked before that give the fish knowledge also, give uh, the fish some sort of a tricks so the fish is also not easy as we think so it is not me only means it has a great size also it has a knowledge because it, may, uh, it never make uh, any jump that's why we say it is nothing easy because this man is going to depend on his tricks on his knowledge only not his physical strength and this fish is going to depend on his strength and up to now it is calm never make a jump so this is the idea here. Now in this uh, paragraph, now he glorified the fish, as we said before, that he focused on his uh, point of weakness, point of strength, and what Stre uh, point of strength to avoid them uh, and take them uh, and be aware from them, and point of weakness to exploit them. Uh, so uh, he said what that this animal doesn't have a mind, doesn't it is not intelligent as. We are the fisherman who killed them, and uh, what? Uh, and I d never make him know that he is uh, has a strength, that he is stronger than me, so that he never is he he does not uh, enter to what enter to a direct uh, struggle with the fish, and he never hold the line, because in this way he is going to lose the fish, because the fish is uh, stronger than him. That's why he is going to use his own tricks, as we said. So he uses the tricks. Also, the differences between what the differences between what between Santiago and the fish that they are completely different. They are uh, what they are uh, that the fish depends on his strength, while it uh, it is noble. Yes, it is noble and more able because it has a physical strength, while this man has the intelligent, intelligent uh, and the tricks of the sea. So this is the idea in this paragraph, focusing on the differences as well as depending on the tricks. On now, what do we have in this uh, paragraph that he make uh, because he hold the lines and because of the lines of the hawk, his hands are in jewels. 
there is a blood in his hand this also a religious illusion this also foreshadowing element religious illusion because this reminds us by whom by Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is uh, endured by his own people when they uh, in the verse, uh, when they killed him okay this also remind uh, foreshadowing element that it may be this struggle and by lust but not necessarily to won at the end yeah, not not must he won won at the end maybe he lost maybe because since there is uh, a blood also uh, there are three things that are brothers what are they fish and my two hands again there is reference to brothers again this fish is described as being a brothers again it is a reference to what to Adam's son because he is going to about to kill his own brother and he know this because but there is a reason why he killed his brother why Cain killed his brother and why Santiago now called his brother of course there is a reason and he went to justify why he killed uh, uh, what do we have in this paragraph this paragraph all this in this what do you observe now this indicate that his faith he said I'm not religious he said but I am I will stay uh, with uh, 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 now I stay with God now he is going to return to God not only God he asked the God to help him he asked the hell Mary to help him he asked all the prophets to help him also he said that uh, Mary grace of the Lord so he make also a uh, pilgrim uh, ask the blessed Virgin Mary to pray to help him in this he make a prayer within the middle of the sea because this is the man you suppose within the uh, if you are alone you are not alone you are with, because God with you in your difficult situation you supposed to return to God because God is the uh, is the one who the one, first one who is going to help you in these difficulties never forget that there is a God always has the ability to protect you to give you ability to overcome whatever difficulty you face this is the idea in this paragraph uh, so Santiago is a typical religion then he released that he uh, this fish is stronger than him I had better revive little line out of a strain he said if the fish decide to stay another night I will need to eat again and the water is low in the bottle I don't think I can go anything but a dolphin here but I, if I ate him fresh enough he won't be bad I wish a flying fish would come on board tonight but I have no light to attract them a flying fish is excellent to eat raw and I would not have to cut him up I must have saved all my strength now Christ I didn't know he was so big I will kill him though he said in all his greatness and his glory this is a, uh, a heroic speech this you know that he has difficult situation now he's alone he's hungry that he's still another night alone with himself and there is no water even and what and uh, he is going to he is going to kill him despite all these difficulties he is going to kill this fish despite all the greatness and the glory of the marlin he is going to kill it so this is a heroic speech again this is a bright on the part of Santiago because the differences is sharp between them uh, and uh, you're supposed to uh, check the meaning of the bride the bride with the tragic hero because this is necessary to explain next lecture next lecture we are going to what happened for Santiago because of his now in this paragraph there is a reference to DiMaggio the player the player the baseball player any reference to this player it is a reference to his boss because he loved this player he respect this player and consider him as a model here in this paragraph he is going to tell us his own story why he loved why he loved this player why he consider him as a model player as player number one on the baseball league because this player is uh, also injured or he is suffering from a uh, uh, broken of his uh, leg okay despite his uh, this injury he complete his game and uh, brought uh, what about the victory 
to his own uh, team. So that's why he uh, loved this player and considered him as a model. So all the circumstances of this player is similar to his own circumstances. I mean Santiago circumstances. Similar to his own situation. Now Santiago is alone, thirsty, hungry, and uh, in need for a help of the boy but despite all these difficulties he is going to overcome and brought the victory to his own team that what is his team that the boy i mean he is going to improve for the boy that he is a successful uh, and lucky fisherman because he could get the uh, marlin so uh, look to the similarity between the two that's why we understand when we read the yes when we read the story of dimejo we understand why Santiago loved him, why for him he is a, a successful uh, player. After talking about uh, the player, he is going to talk about the, with the fish and uh, his, uh, what his, uh, how he talk about the fish as if it understand him and how the fish did not trust him, of course, because he went to catch her. Now the day, it is the uh, third day and the, uh, it is going to be the night. The sun will be uh, back it and uh, he wonder if this night will uh, what to bring for him. He wonder whether what happened in this night. Uh, this is the uh, end of the uh, day three uh, in his trip and uh, this is not the end of his struggle with the uh, fish because he is going to complete even in the night he is going to complete his struggle never stopped for this man he uh, this uh, struggle is, does not stop in this way he is supposed to finish it because he uh, there is no in dictionary meaning for what uh, giving up or stop no he is going to complete what he started so focus students on this point religious references of the in this uh, lecture and the bride is very important and uh, focus on the uh, boy motive on the motive for the player the major motive all these things are important be students pay attention for them i think this is the end of our lecture and the page uh, 35 thank you very much